AI agents are everywhere. Not only all over social media, all over your email inboxes. They're even content creators these days. But in addition to that, they can also now start calling you. And the blessing or the curse is that the technology is so good now that sometimes you won't even know that it's an AI system that's calling you. And the reason why AI voice agents in particular are so popular and so hot right now is because of the huge gains that businesses can realize by using them. They don't take holiday, they don't get sick, they work 24 seven, and they have no concept of emotion or bias. They literally do exactly what they're told to do. So for businesses looking to cut costs and increase revenue, AI agents in general, but also AI voice agents are really, really interesting. So today I'm gonna to be taking you through an example of how you could create an autonomous AI voice agent that will automatically call your customers based on some kind of trigger. This trigger could be something changing in the CRM, it could be a form being filled out, it could be an inquiry that comes through, whatever you choose. But being able to follow up with customers in a timely way and in a personalized way without needing thousands of people in call centers is a massive advantage for businesses. And it's proven that following up with customers within a certain time window increases sales significantly. So let's dive into how to actually build one of these autonomous voice agents. We're gonna be using NAN as the orchestration layer to bring all these different tools that we're gonna to use together. So NAN will really be the core of what we're gonna be building with. We're then gonna use Vapi to create our voice AI agent. And we're gonna combine this with Twilio to allow us to actually make a call from a real life phone number. But first, everything is gonna be triggered from a CRM. And in this example, we're gonna create a really basic CRM just in Google Sheets. So I'm gonna set up this trigger in NAN, first of all, to trigger off of uh, some data in the Google Sheet being updated. So I'll choose my Google Sheet here. I'll choose the specific uh, sheet that I want to choose within that spreadsheet. And let's just simulate a test example. So as you can see, when I updated a row within that CRM, you can see that all the data has come through on that trigger. So the CRM that I've set up is very basic to start off with. It contains a little bit of information about some customers and it also contains some information uh, about whether or not they've been called back. In a real life scenario, you would wanna connect this to a live CRM. So for example, Airtable uh, or even something like a Postgres database um, or an Oracle system, for example. But just to show how you can tie all this technology together, we're using something very simple in the form of a Google Sheet. Now the next step is to actually connect the next node to the Google Sheet trigger, which is the HTTP post request. So essentially what we'll be doing is we'll be making an API request to the VAPI API to start and initiate a call. So you can find detailed documentation about this API on the VAPI documentation site. But for now, I'm just gonna take some of the basic information that we need, which is, for example, the URL that we need to call, the headers that we need to add, and the body that we need to add as well. So I'm gonna add the HTTP post request and I'm gonna start populating the field. So the first one is the URL that we'll need. And the second batch of fields are the headers that we need to pass. Now notice that I haven't included an authentication within this request. I've selected the authentication none uh, value in the dropdown. And that's because we're gonna pass the authentication credentials in as a header instead. Once again, if you check the VAPI API documentation, it will tell you the most up-to-date way of authenticating the API request. So this next header that I'll add is the authorization header. And for the value, I'm gonna use the bearer token style. Now, of course, I'm not gonna put the API key in uh, now, but this is something you can add in later. And then finally, in the body, this is just gonna be in the form of the JSON snippet that you can find in the readme. And this will include details such as the phone number ID, which will, you'll get within VAPI the assistant ID, which once again will be created within VAPI, and then some information about who you're actually gonna be calling. And this will be taken from the CRM data that you're linking this node to. So now on the topic of VAPI, this is the VAPI dashboard. Um, this is a really powerful orchestration tool to create and combine all different types of AI services into a voice agent. It gives you a comprehensive set of tools of designing the voice agent, adding a knowledge base, choosing which LLM you want to use, as well as speech-to-text models and text-to-speech models. And it's a really, really good tool when you're looking to build a voice AI agent and when you're trying to integrate it with a phone system as well. 
I'm not going to spend too much time on explaining the fine details of VAPI. I'll go through this in another video perhaps. But really this is just to show you what the VAPI interface looks like. I've already created this voice AI agent, so I'm not going to go into the details of the implementation for now. So as I said, there's lots of customization options here. You can choose which voice you want to use. You can add custom tools into the AI agent as well. You can have the voice AI agent output the data in a structured manner too. And you can set all different types of configurations in terms of the uh, voice activity detection, um, when to actually end the call, and much, much more. But for now, really all you need is the assistant ID, which you can copy from just underneath the name of the agent at the top. That is what you'll populate into the assistant ID field in the body of the API request. Now let's talk about Twilio. So Twilio is a service that you can use to create phone numbers. It does a lot more as a platform, Twilio. It's a massive company and it has a really comprehensive suite of tools, but really all we're gonna be using Twilio for in this example, or what I'm gonna be showing you with Twilio for now, is how you can use a phone number once you've gone through the process of creating a phone number on Twilio within VAPI. I'm not gonna be going through the detailed steps of how to set up a phone number in Twilio, but at the time of creating this video, it was free to create an account and also free to create a phone number as well. So if you're able to get past those two stages and you're able to get to a screen that looks like this where you've got an active phone number, then that's where you need to be. So now, when you come back to the VAPI dashboard, there'll be a phone numbers option, and this is where you can add that phone number into the VAPI page. Now you can see here I've already created a phone number, but you can just create a phone number for yourself. You can import your Twilio phone number, or actually, as of now, you can actually use one of the free VAPI numbers, dependent on which region you're in around the world. So once you've set up the phone number, you can paste the phone number ID, once again, into the body of the API request. And of course, make sure that you put your API key in as well as the assistant ID and the phone number ID. And then you can actually test this workflow. So in terms of setup, it's actually very simple. We're only using two nodes here in the NAN workflow. A simple trigger to initiate the call and then a HTTP request to actually trigger and start the call. So let's see how this phone call goes. You have a trial account. You can remove this message at any time by upgrading to a full account. Press any key to execute your code. Hello, this is Ava from the Super Supplies customer onboarding team. Can I ask, have you received your order yet? Um, yeah, I have actually, yeah. That's great to hear. Have you had a chance to use the Aquaflush Mini Compact yet? Um, yeah, I have. Wonderful. How has your experience been with the Aquaflush Mini Compact so far? Any uh, feedback you'd like to share? Um, I, it's okay. I mean, it could be better. It's, it's, it's good value for money, but actually it's quite uncomfortable. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd just flag that. Thank you for sharing that feedback. I'm sorry to hear about the discomfort you're experiencing. Your feedback is invaluable and I'll make sure it's shared with our team. Could you, um, sorry to interrupt you. Could you, could you tell me a little bit more about some of the other products? Certainly. Super Supplies offers a wide range of Actually, actually, no, 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 sorry. Um, it's fine. I haven't got time for it. Can you just, um, have you got anything else to ask me? Of course, no problem. Is there anything else I can help you with today? And would you like to set up an in-person visit from one of our nurses to discuss your concerns or improve your experience? Um, yeah. Um, there's nothing else I want to talk about, but, but can you come and visit me on, let's say, the 5th of May? Absolutely. I can arrange for a nurse to visit you on the 5th of May. Thank you for letting us know. If there's anything else in the meantime, please don't hesitate to reach out. Take care and have a great day. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. So um, that essentially was the phone call that I had with the voice agent. Um, and then what you'll also see once you've set up your VAPI account is that after the call, there'll be a whole bunch of analytics and logs that you can see through VAPI as well. Um, I also showed you a few things during that call. So I showed the ability to be able to utilize the knowledge base. So asking it questions about the products. Uh, what's also really nice through VAPI is that you can interrupt the voice agents really well. So you, you, you saw that I was able to interrupt um, and basically tell it to stop talking about what it was talking and go back to what it was previously doing. 
And, then, and as I said before, we're using a text-to-speech model from Eleven Labs at the moment, but you can change that out for your own voice-to-text model. You can even clone your own voice if you wanted to, or you can use your own custom provider too. But there you have it, the end-to-end -end process of how to connect all of these technologies and all these services together. So we connected Twilio, VAPI, NAN, and a CRM to create an autonomous outbound calling agent. And what's really great about this voice agent that I've set up on VAPI as well is not only will it do outbound calling like the one that I just showed you, but I can actually also call that number too. So that's it for now. If you have any other ideas that you'd like me to build, let me know in the comments. But otherwise, I'll see you soon.